Let's talk about configuring OneLake workspace settings in Fabric. OneLake is the single storage system for all your data in Fabric. Even if you have several different capacities, they all will connect to this OneLake. And the storage location is based on the region of your capacity. For example, data from a capacity in Northern Europe is stored there, while data from a Western Europe capacity stores data in Western Europe. This setup ensures that your data is managed efficiently across regions. So let's see what we can do in Fabric with these one lake settings. Let's open Fabric. So I'm here in my workspace, but I will actually go to workspaces. And this is my DP700 workspace. And I go to workspace settings. And then when we go to one lake here, we see there's not so much we can actually do there. The first two things we see uh, are links. One sends you to the Microsoft Learn um, website where you can learn more about OneLake. And the second one is uh, leading you to the OneLake File Explorer, which you can download. And the OneLake File Explorer actually integrates OneLake with your Windows Explorer. And this is just like OneDrive and it allows you to read or upload the files based on your permissions. And the third thing we're seeing here is shortcut caching. Uh, it's currently in preview and we can only turn it off or on. And shortcut caching currently works for GCS, S3 and S3 compatible sources. And it caches data from non-Azure sources to reduce repeated data transfers. So here's the thing, if we turn this on, we see there's a retention period of one day or 24 hours. This cache lasts for 24 hours, uh, but accessing a file will actually reset this timer. Also, if you update a file, it also refreshes the cache. You can't cache files over one gigabyte, so that's important. And you can either say it's on or off. So if you think now, is that it? Is that all we can do here in this workspace settings? Yes, it is. But we can go to the admin portal because there we also have some one lake settings. Let's go there, admin portal, and then search for one lake. And there we see four settings. Um, the first one is users can access data stored in one lake with apps external to Fabric. And you can either turn this on or off for the entire organization. So th there are not that much options there. And we will skip the second and third one about SAS tokens. It's currently in preview. And then we have the fourth one. Users can sync data in one lake with the one lake file explorer app enabled for the entire organization or disabled for the entire organization. And this is basically what I was talking before about the second option where we can download this one lake file explorer. This setting actually, uh, you can say people can use it or they can't. There's not so much we can do in these settings for one lake workspace settings. Um, let me know how you liked the video. Don't forget that Reitze, he also wrote a blog about this topic and the link is in the description. So make sure to have a look. He also has some screenshots and it's really easy to follow his articles because they're really step by step. So if you prefer reading, make sure to read his article.